Hey guys, it's me Jacob again, and um, this is the 17th video. I missed a couple days. It was uh, really, I guess, only one day, but um, yeah, I didn't get much done uh, yesterday, and uh, that's just because I was pretty burnt out. Um, so I didn't think I was going to get a lot done today because I had work and I was going to hang out with some friends, um, but I ended up basically uh, 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 leaving my friends pretty early. And so I got more than I thought I would done, so I thought I would record a video. Um, I ended up with four hours today. And, um, you know, like, today was definitely a little bit, a little bit strange. Um, but I, I think in some ways, uh, you know, the most important thing for learning is being really committed to it and having basically no distractions and also um, developing a sort of like really strong clarity and focus about what you're doing um, right not having any doubt not you don't want to waste any energy on anything that isn't basically amplifying your vector your direction or whatever so in a weird way um, I feel like, you know, even though kind of some negative stuff probably happened today, um, it's going to clear up a lot of, uh, like, energy so that I have more free time to do, to do this, to do this. I really, I really believe in this. Um, it's taken me a while to kind of, like, I guess, put everything together um, and, you know... I've done stuff like it, like this in the past, but, you know, I think this time is a little bit different. I think my head is, like, um, in the right place. So I actually think that um, today's Wednesday, tail end of Wednesday, but I actually think that the next couple days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna destroy it. I think I... I'm definitely going to be able to hit, I think, 12 hours because I've got nothing to lose now. I've got nothing, no real distractions. Um, and I I know what I want to be. I know what I want to become. And there's this one idea that really clicked in my mind while I was, like, reading some source code today. And I've had this idea before, and I realized just how true and powerful it is, at least to me, Um and it's the idea that like when you're reading something, when you're looking at it, what you're thinking right now and how you react and see the thing in front of you is going to change the better and better you get at and more and more familiar like you are with that thing. Like the more and more you master understanding that thing, the further you're going to your fur the further your thinking is going to um diverge from where you are now what does that mean it means that like the way you see code or the way you think about things um well in this case the way that i see code and the way that i am reading it and understand it is going to change and so it's not that important what i think about it today because I know that in a month, it's going to be vastly different. It's going to be a, 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 a deeply uprooted and evolved thing, right? This is ultimately, you know, this all stems from my, I've talked about a lot of my different motivations, but one of my deepest motivations is just a dissatisfaction with what, like how I understand things. Um, and a deep desire to uh, to basically grow that comprehension um, in infinitely. There isn't like a point that I want it to stop at. I just want it to be as great as possible, um, right? And um, that means that the way that I see the world today um, or in my case, the way I see c code is irrelevant. It's, it's all about where I'm going with my perception. And so, um, so I'm not, 
it, it's sort of like a weird exercise that I do where I'm reading code and after you've read code for a while if you're listening to your your mind and your thoughts it's sort of like meditation and and reading code but you'll hear thoughts and your thoughts will be like hey maybe this is what it means or hey maybe this is what's important or blah 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 you might have thoughts that aren't even aren't even uh, centered on the code and that's like a really that's another point I'd like to talk about how focus is so important and how your thoughts can just automatically go to different things that have nothing to do with code but sometimes your thoughts are focused on code and they are saying something and basically what I just said was ignore them what you think and what you like what you think you understand about it I mean it depends on the person you know certainly some people are much further along and I can I can see how some things some thoughts are still going to be accurate but like do you really want to just rehash what you've been thinking or do you want to reach a new level of perception? Maybe the new level of perception will include, you know, a lot of what you were already thinking and you did already understand, but will be a superset of it that has all these new types of perceptions kind of embedded in it that give it a higher dimensional, like, um, uh, trying to explain it. But basically it's just like, Imagine you were talking about three objects and it was a red ball and a little orange pyramid and then a little, you know, um, blue rectangle. Uh, and and then uh, what you did is you turned on the light and actually there were like 15 other objects in the room behind it. And this is like, you know, the next stage. At the beginning, all you could see were these three things. But as you get better, then you can see all these other things. And then as you get better, you can see all these other things. It just goes on forever, right? There's another light behind the light that you just pulled. And it's like, so it doesn't really make that much sense to be overly infatuated with the way you see the world, the way you see code right now, right? Because it's going to change. Hopefully it's going to change. Hopefully it's going to grow and, and like um, start to incorporate more things. I think one of the greatest things is to start to be able to see like a bit more of the mathematics behind code. Like what are these things generically in terms of math and how do they apply to humans, right? Because we, um, the way we interact with the world has like a mathematical um, underlying like pattern to it. And the way we write code matches a lot of like the things that were, were, I don't know, I'm not going to be able to articulate this very well, but I think that that's a very good thing to do. But then there's a bunch of other ways to think about it too. You know, I'm not going to discourage the other ones because um, they it all comes together, you know. Uh, math has stuff in common with basically everything. Um, but yeah, so, so I only got, you know, four hours done, but I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good about this one. And, you know, I crossed 100 hours. I'm at 102 hours now. It's day 17. I'm at 102 hours. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling like I'm, I've, I feel like I've dropped a lot of dead weight. Like, I'm still going to have thoughts, but I'm going to slowly just cut all the energy of the thoughts that really are unnecessary for what I'm trying to do away. They're just going to dissipate away. And this is like a, okay... I guess, so I've done a lot of meditation in the past and it kind of bleeds into the way I see the world and especially studying. I think that there's a lot of overlap um, in some ways between those things. Um, and so what I, uh, what I was gonna say is that what you invest your energy in is extremely important. And another word for energy is attention, I guess, or focus, um, but like, what you invest that in is extremely important. You can't suffer from something that you aren't investing your energy or focus or attention in. It can't cause you any pain. A great example is what you aren't thinking of or aren't aware of, you cannot suffer from, right? So your suffering is really tied to a conversion of your energy and attention into the suffering, right? Therefore, if you basically 
block this conversion and you never let your energy get turned into suffering in this other angle, then you basically can prevent a lot of different things. It's like, I, I, w I won't lie, I'm a human being and I don't do this very well, but I understand at like a mm, logical and psychosomatic level, that's a word I use for like, kind of like the mind and body, I suppose, um, uh, and emotions and stuff like that. I understand at that level, and I have some personal experience with it, like, working for me, where it's like, you know, you are able to just move on. You are able to take energy and apply it in a way that maybe it's just neutral, maybe it's positive, but the important thing is it's not working against you anymore. And so the real key uh, thing, if there was a mantra that really led to you being able to sort of leverage this or something, it would be very simple. It's just, I control my focus, right? And you control it, and then you don't let it go off to something else. And every time it does, you just remind yourself, I do control my focus. And eventually some of these things lose their power and sway. I think time does this for people automatically, where they stop focusing on stuff that's just not within their proximity or like relevant to them anymore. And so it slowly ebbs away. But you can take control, you can like grab the reins with this to kind of lead it a little bit more. How does this relate to my study with coding? Well, if you're trying to get as good as you possibly can at something, you need to have focus. You need to control that focus and direct it in a very specific thing. You need to make sure your psychosomatic system isn't destabilized by this other trash you could be thinking about, could be feeling and investing energy into, but won't actually help you make the progress that you're trying to, right? In, uh, yeah, so um, so anyways, that was probably a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, ineffective way of explaining it, but, uh, you know, uh, gave it my best shot. Um, anyways, um, so I don't want to make this video too long, but that's what's up with me right now, and I'm going to be doing some more studying tomorrow, and obviously Friday and Saturday and Sunday, but I'm going to really crank it hard, I think. Um, I'm going to see how much I can get out of these, and I'm going to try and like hit a sort of zen type of thing at the same time. So I'm going to be studying, but I'm going to try and be very focused and very calm and, 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 and peaceful, you know? I want to enjoy studying. I'm going to enjoy studying. I'm going to enjoy it, and I'm going to be focused, and I'm going to, I'm going to become what I'm supposed to become, which is like, uh, I want to understand this. I'm supposed to illuminate my own mind so I understand this, and so I can, I don't know why, I, I don't know why I'm doing this, really, but the, that is, I think, my purpose. Um, so anyways, Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you leave a comment, I would love that because I really want to talk to people. I do want to talk to people. Um, uh, and, you know, if you want to continue seeing some of this, like, stuff, then you can consider liking and subscribing, I suppose. And you can also check out my blog. It doesn't have that much content on it because it's hard to do that. But I am trying to improve it over time, you know, I take it seriously too, um, obviously, and you can go there and it's got stuff on programming too, it's the same as my channel name, it's at pieharbor.com, um, which is pretty cool, and so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and most importantly, control your own focus, control your destiny, control your focus, you know, it's, it's one thing you can try to control, and um, I believe it's worth telling you to try and do that. You know, if that means not watching my video and, and doing something else with your focus that's better for your life, do that. Do that. Fuck me. Take care of yourself, okay? It's like, you know, um, yeah. Uh, so so take, care, take care of yourself and control your focus and just uh, peace out. I'll see you guys maybe at the next video, maybe not, but I'm going to record a video. So, um, you know, you're welcome to come and check it out.